car manufacturers call electronic stability control different things like DSC, VDC and DSTC. They all work in the same way and combat the thing that causes 40% of all fatal accidents, skidding. And 2012 marks an important moment in ESC's history. From this year, every new model released for sale in Europe will have to be fitted with electronic stability control. From 2014, no new car will be allowed to be sold without it. Today, we're going to find out how it works. We're going to show you the cheapest used cars that have it fitted. And we're going to show you the shocking type of accident it can help prevent. The ESC makes 25 calculations per second and automatically intervenes in a split second to prevent a skid. It means the average car has more computing power than the space shuttle. It's the culmination of a technological story that started more than 50 years ago. Seatbelts were the first ever safety device and arrived in the 50s, with Volvo demonstrating that being restrained in a sudden impact could increase your chances of surviving by 60%. Another classic in the safety hall of fame is the airbag. By slowing the body's rate of deceleration, it helps reduce how much energy is transmitted to your internal organs and cuts fatalities by 25%. Then there's anti-lock brakes. The 1978 Mercedes S-Class was the first car to have ABS and today more than 200 million ABS systems have been fitted and they provide an essential part of an ESC system. And now to show you just why ESC deserves to be considered amongst the greats, I'm going to unleash the most dangerous and diabolical evasive driving on this wide cross section of vehicles, all of which have ESC fitted as standard. It's me versus ESC. Basically, I'm going to replicate everyday emergency avoidance maneuvers and try and crash. So perhaps I'm on a motorway, cruising along 70 miles an hour, being very dutiful, when suddenly something goes wrong in front of me, and I swerve to avoid it in a grurry. <laughs> when I'm on a country road, I turn into a corner, and it's tight to my thought. <laughs> ESC works on the basis that prevention is better than cure. It supposedly stops 80% of all skidding accidents from even happening. The car's saving me from having a big accident. Because what the ESC does, it has all these monitors. First of all, it uses the ABS sensors to check each individual wheel speed. Then it's got a G meter to test the roll, the pitch fore and aft, and the roll from side to side. Then it looks at how much throttle I've got, how much steering angle I've got. It analyzes all these things 25 times every second and then sorts them out to get me out of trouble. So if I turn suddenly, the first thing it does is instantly take away the throttle from me. Then it'll apply the brakes on the inside of the car to help pull the car around the corner. And we virtually come to a standstill without me touching the brakes at all. I can't, however much I try, get this car to do anything other than squeal to a grinding halt. I'm full throttle and I'm down at 20 miles an hour. <laughs> These extreme swerve tests are the most recent addition to the ratings carried out by safety gurus Euro NCAP. They use a robot to produce a violent 270 degree steering input at 80 kilometers an hour. And they check that the ESC system keeps the car stable. The systems are so good these days that even top-heavy commercial vehicles can't be made to roll over. These really are amazing systems. You almost think you're a brilliant driver. I mean, at 70 miles an hour, the car just won't go out and shake however hard I try. In fact, the ESC systems are so good nowadays, you don't realise how good they are until you switch them off. We specially doctored the ESC in this Vauxhall insignia so it was completely disengaged, something I wouldn't advise you to do. Suddenly get into a motorway, avoidance, and... All of a sudden, 
your part of the accident. It's not hard to see why ESC has been made a standard requirement for all new cars. But there's a problem. Whilst all new cars will have ESC fitted as standard by 2014, what about used cars? In the UK, we buy three million used cars every year. And for some of them, the consequences of not having ESC can be even more dramatic.